Good afternoon, everybody. So today I'll be talking about 97L. 97L could possibly become a tropical depression or a storm by next 12 to 24 hours, and possibly as 97L moves near the Lesser Antilles area, possibly a low one hurricane, possibly by then as 97L moves into the Gulf and so forth. Then 95L is located over the Lesser Antilles area, Lesser Antilles area, right currently right now. Probability of um, formation very, very unlikely, near 0%, about impossible for the system to become anything, to form in anything. According to the new update, Okay, so this is a uh, satellite imagery from chocolatidbits.com. As you can see, 95 L, a broad area of disorganized showers and thunderstorms over Lesser, Ant Lesser, <laughs> Lesser Antilles area. Then here's 97 L here, over here. That looks pretty healthy. It has some good spin, good rotation from the north and the south of the storm. Looks like pretty healthy. To me, in my opinion, I think it looks like a tropical depression or a low, very low end tropical storm. In my opinion, I think it really does. A big difference compared to 97 and 95 L. You could tell by 95 L no rotation at all, just just a broad air disorganized showers and thunderstorm just moving or lesser and less lesser Antilles moving to the Caribbean. Then as you can see ninety seven though has spin to it. It looks org very healthy and organized. So we're just gonna have to see. Then here's invest nice here's the invest ninety seven L model intensity guidance chart. As you can see by next twelve hours all the models except one show it being at least a tropical storm by the next 24 hours. It should be a tro it should be a tropical storm by the next 24 hours according to these models. Then by the next 36 hours, it should be could be possibly a low end hurricane by then, according to the models. Here is a nice Invest 97L GFS um, ensembles or the GEFS -E tracks. So as you can see, the models are pretty persistent where Invest 97L will go until Invest 97L moves near Puerto Rico or Japan or Dominican Republic, then, it, then the models will scatter. So it could be anywhere from a fish storm that's moving off the east coast or skimming the east coast or impacting Florida or some of the Gulf states or going into the Gulf somewhere, or impacting Cancun, Mexico area, then going into the Gulf, or staying in, to, in the Caribbean, then going into the Gulf. It could go any way. It's too far out to tell where Invest 97L will go, so we're going to have to see. I'll keep my eye on it. Then here's the Invest 97L model track guidance models. So as you can see, all the models except one going to the lower part of the Caribbean, which I, I don't agree with that model. I agree with the rest of these models. They go over the Lesser Antilles, Central or Southern Lesser Antilles, then moving over to Japan or Haiti or Dominican Republic area, then possibly impacting Cuba, then possibly going into the Gulf. So we're just going to have to watch that. So here's the GFS model. Then the Spur... Gigantic Bermuda High plays in a big role with where the system will move into or go and so forth. As you can see, Invest 97L moves into Lesser Antilles by <coughs> Friday morning, this Friday morning afternoon air timing between those times. Possibly a hurricane, low in hurricane or high in tropical storm by then. Then moving into the Caribbean. Caribbean
like I said, this Bermuda High, gigantic Bermuda High, has an impact on where <clears throat> 97L will move to if the Bermuda High moves a little, it moves some east or something like that could move. The high could grab the storm and move it, like make it go along the coast or something like that, or it could become the fit, just a fish storm, just come out and just go out to sea, or could stay the path just into the Caribbean, then into the Gulf, or in the Caribbean, then impacting Florida, Alabama, Georgia. I mean, not Georgia. Mississippi, Louisiana, or Texas, or going through the Cancun area could go anywhere either way. This is just what the GFS model is saying. Showing, excuse me, it could be going through the, this area, what the GFS is showing. But the thing that concerns me about the, G, the GFS, I, yes, it's so far away out. This is by the evening of the night afternoon evening of the ninth if this model is correct and invest 97 that will be impacting the Hampton Roads, Hatteras, Nags Head, Eastern North Carolina, Eastern Virginia area. I'll be keeping my eye on that. It'd be fairly possible. I do agree with the GFS on where the Bermuda this German giant enormous Bermuda high is that does make sense on this track, but still way too far out to uh, know for sure where Invest 97L will move into. <clears throat> so, yeah, okay. Okay, guys, so... This is just a little presentation on Invest 97L. As a tropical update, I'll be doing these throughout this hurricane season. For this year, this is my one of the first ones I'll be doing. Uh, and I hope you stay tuned for the next update. So, this is Forecaster Adam Moore signing out. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your day or evening.